I was 14 years old when I competed in those games in 1970s. I shouldn't say the age, but <laughs> everybody knows. Um, and I was too young to know what was going on. I knew the Olympics are a big competition. I was hoping my mom and dad are watching me because back in Romania, I was two in the morning. And I had no idea about history or anything that came with those Olympic games. Um, I uh, usually don't watch the scoreboard. I say that all the time because I kind of gave myself a, a score after I do every routine. And I thought what I did on the bars was a pretty good routine, but uh, not watching the score, uh, a couple of seconds later I finished, I, uh, I heard a lot of noise in the arena and I turned my head around and then the, the scoreboard spin around with the 073, which was my competition number, and under that was a 1.00. So I'm turning my head to my teammates because I'm like, one is not a good score, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> and um, it should go to one, two, three, four, to nine, 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 five. So I had no idea uh, that uh, Longine that created the scoreboard, uh, Nobody expected that the 10 is possible. They called the uh, International Gymnastic Federation uh, to ask if a 10 will be possible, and they said, no, nobody's gonna score a 10. <laughs> and they didn't know how to do it, and came up as a 1.00, and then with all the uh, scoreboards that, that Longines made for the Olympics, they said that we had to use those scoreboards after, and uh, every time when Nadia wasn't coming to the competition, that's when we put our scoreboards because we couldn't accommodate the 10. So the 10, the, the history of the 10 actually is 1.00, and uh, I'm, uh, <laughs> it's just better than a 10, though, because one, being the first is good, too, so. <laughs>